we're exploring some parameters and modifying controls. So let's look also on some surfaces and uh, coloring in this case. So right here, example, you notice we have it select the face, the genesis. So we'll go inside the surface color. And currently it's face is selecting and notice right here we have it all these properties this is quite a bit extensive control our lighting and one is most important is a diffuse color which is based on a bitmap and when we go over you can see how the poser have a direct correction to this so we can preload it some jpeg and um, same like in poser tutorials you actually can take image of specific person and just apply his map uv map over the face so you can create figuring based on real as well as if you want to create a little bit more realistic look skin even this one look very real but if you want to adjust same ways you can create it and when you download it um does studio they have the templates for the female and male genesis figures which has helped you to create some of these uv maps and apply them directly on your model but this is more advanced topic how to do this so let's look very closely on some of these properties and you notice we have the uv set so it's a texture it's not parametric color so just rushing we have it enables moving angle if you want change diffuse color so we can actually create a little bit more on a darker skin just on the face so we can do this way increase opacity bump map increase as also a little bit more on a bump map reflectivity and this is not um, displacement so it's you don't see bumps in the center it's just only how lighting will process when it's over the face okay we have a bump ma mapping displacement if any displacement map is active currently is not active at all okay not map allowed and um opacity colors specular it's mostly let's let's reduce even specular Okay, even from first overview, you can see how much you can be overwhelmed with all properties. And by itself, just creating material and shaders is required its own series of tutorials. So we can look on some of those names, what they do, how they diffuse, what difference between opacity, specular, diffuse, and all other effects. If you work with different uh, 3D applications, most of these properties will be kind of makes sense to you when you look and you understand um, what they mean for example like subsurface sir, um, scattering will help you to create this some wax effect when light heating and scattering under so it's like a think about like candle kind of it's what one of the best example of subsurface scattering and also different type so we'll probably look on those ones in our exploring um, DAS tutorial series but for the beginning, you can go around in this application and try play when you're creating different type of the uh, model. You can always go with the presets and just, you know, play around with the coloring and see which one like opacity. Yeah, let's go right here. For example, we can play with a different type of the coloring and um, adjustment. So you can create your own airline or other type of the skin and shapes okay let's go like okay actually i don't need lock oops so this one so we can go right here and i create just alien color green type of the person again you notice how we modified so let's go back zoom out Right here, it's look a little bit weird, but I think it's very well give you some examples. As well, when you start coloring, you can see how mapping working. So like, for example, that UV map cover up to your ears. And for the back, it will be separate type of the UV map. Right here, you can see the ears and other adjustment. Okay, so play around. I say in the always can go restore. Um, workspace if you have any problem and thank you for watching this tutorial from Geek at Play Studio. Please remember visit us on the web is www.geekatplay.com.